In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be taking a look at declaring an object. So to declare an object, you're essentially declaring a variable, but with the data type of the class that you want to use. Then you need to assign the variable a value using the new keyword along with the class name. Finally, at the end, you'll need to use parentheses of the new class declaration. So here's an example of declaring an object. First, we have my class, which is the name of the class that we created in the last video. Then we have my object, and my object is the name of this new variable. Then we're assigning this new variable of my object a new instance of my class. And then at the very end, we have the parentheses. Let's see what this looks like in code. So here we have the my class class that we created in the last video, and it's inside of this basic.course.creatingAClass namespace. Then I went ahead and copied a version of program.cs and put it into a new namespace and folder called declaring an object. So you can see that here, declaring an object. So let's go ahead and create a new object of type my class. To do that, we want to use my class as the data type. But you can see that in doing so, we get no IntelliSense. And in fact, my class has the red squiggly line underneath it. And that's because my class cannot be found right now for this program class. If I hold the mouse over it, you can see the name my class does not exist in the current context. So what we need to do is we need to include the full namespace. So we're going to do basic.course.creatingAClass.myClass. And that is a full reference to the my class class. Now we need to give our variable a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my object. Next, we need to assign it using the new keyword, the name of the class. So we're just going to go once again, basic dot course dot creating a class dot my class. And then at the end, we need to use some parentheses and we can finally end our statement using the semicolon. Now this will create a my object of type my class. But you can see that when we use the entire full namespace, this becomes quite laborious. We don't really need to do all of this in front of both the my class here and the my class here. We can really shorten this quite a bit if we put it up here inside of our using statement. So up here, we're going to do using basic.course.creatingAClass. Now we can remove the basic course creating a class from this section of the code and from this section of the code. You can see that our new my object is much easier to read and it's much more understandable now that we have our using statement here.